In this video, we are looking at these problems on page 9 of the 5.4 slides. Oops. There we go. So our first problem is to find the eighth term of a geometric progression whose first five terms are 162, 54, 18, 6, and 2. For this problem, we're going to use this formula, a sub n equals a times r to the n minus 1, where a is the first term. r is the common ratio. And n is the number of the term we're looking for. In this case, our first term, A, is 162. We're looking for the eighth term, so N equals 8. And we need to find the, um, sorry, we need to find the common ratio, and that is going to be the second term divided by the first term or any subsequent term divided by the previous term. So that's 54 over 162, which is one third. So A sub eight will be 162 times one third to the uh, seventh power. Okay, well that, is going to be 162 times 1 over, I don't know what 3 to the 7th power is off at the top of my head, but I can figure it out pretty quickly. 3 raised to the 7th power is 2,187. So this will be 162 over 2,187. which is going to be the same as 2 over, let's see, we had um, the power was, right, so that's going to be 243, yes. Um, 2 ninths. So that's the answer to that first problem. Our next problem is going to be to find the 10th term of a geometric progression with positive terms. Actually, that should have been, I'm gonna cancel that for a moment. Uh, I miscounted and yeah, this should have been two twenty sevenths, not two. Um, yeah, two twenty sevenths, not two uh, two ninths. Sorry about that. So anyway, let's go back here. In our next problem, we're asked to find the tenth term of geometric progression with positive terms. And the third term is equal to 16 and seventh term equal to one. So we know that a sub three is 16 and a sub seven is one. That means there are four terms difference here. Um, so we can find the common ratio is the fourth root of 
1 over 16. Well, that's 1 half. Further, to find A, that's going to be 16 times 2 times 2, or 16 divided by 1 half divided by 1 half. Same thing. So that's just going to be 64. We're looking for the 10th term. So we just follow our formula. A sub 10 equals 64 times 1 half to the uh, 10 minus 1 is 9. 64 times, well, um, yeah, uh, 2 to the ninth power is 512, so this is 1 over 512. Okay, well, 64 divided by 512 is 1 eighth. That's it for this set of problems. If you have any questions, please get in touch.